Hey guys, this is Kellen from FileInfo.com, and today I'm going to show you how to manage files in the iOS Files app. The Files app was introduced with the release of iOS 11. The app allows you to browse, search, and organize your files, whether they are on your device, your other iOS devices, an iCloud Drive, or connected using cloud services such as Dropbox or Google Drive. As we open the Files app, you'll notice that it is split up into two parts, Recents and Browse. Recents is pretty straightforward. It displays your most recently viewed files and your shared documents. You can also search for files in the search bar in the upper right hand corner. The browse section of the app is where you will spend most of your time. Here you can manage files in connected storage locations, view your favorite files, and access files you have organized with tags. In locations, you can view and access cloud storage locations connected to your account. In order to access files from your other iOS devices, iCloud must be set up and signed into with the same Apple ID on all of the devices. iCloud Drive must also be turned on. You can add other cloud services to locations such as Google Drive or Dropbox, but you must first download and set up the storage locations app through the App Store on your device. After you install the app, the storage location is automatically imported into the Files app. To enable or disable a location, simply tap Edit Slide the location on or off, then tap Done. You'll notice that iOS hides file extensions by default. You can tap and hold the file, then select Info to view the file type. You can also use the icon to determine the file type and organize your files in folders by file type, such as Numbers, Pages, or Text Edit, as you can see in the iCloud Drive. You can open a file by tapping it, but to manage files, you need to press and hold the file. This is similar to right-clicking a file on a computer. You can then choose the copy, duplicate, rename, move, delete, share, tag, or view information about the file. You can move a file simply by dragging and dropping the file to a new location. You can also move a file by tapping and holding a file as previously mentioned, then select Move, which opens a window with possible destinations for the file. Moving a file means a copy of the file is moved to the location while the original remains. Now the file is in the Pages folder on the iPad. If you duplicate the file, the duplicate appears next to the original. If you delete the file, it goes into the recently deleted location. If you choose a share file, you'll be presented with several options, such as AirDrop, Message, or Email. If you select Info, information about the file will be displayed. And if you select Tags, you'll be able to organize the file under a category. You can also drag and drop a file onto a tag to tag the file. An alternative method to manage files is to tap Select, then choose the file. You can then share, duplicate, move, or delete the selected file. This method is useful when you want to manage multiple files at the same time. This is also the only method available to manage files when using an iPhone. And that's it. Now you know how to manage your files in the iOS Files app.